How do you optimize your product titles for Google Shopping? It's very, very important and requires a lot of love. Well, we're gonna give it some love in this video. Let's go. Product titles are super important because it's one of the main ways that Google has to figure out what your products are. If you do product titles well, you'll be far ahead of the competition and you'll save a lot of money on your Google Shopping ads. Something that's really important to know is that your title in your product feed is gonna be very different from the title in your website. The product feed is what Google sees and what it uses to figure out what the heck your products are and what to show to customers. Make sure you optimize. Some stores have titles on their website that are super vague and don't tell you what the product is because they rely on the context of the website to do this. Make sure you change this in your product feed so it's not just this vague title that was on the website. Make it so that Google knows what it is and people on shopping know what the product is by looking at the title. This is gonna save you a lot of cash. When I started with shopping ads, I didn't pay attention to this and I lost a lot of money not optimizing titles and just spending that money when Google didn't know what my products were. Okay, so if you're new here, my name is Sam. I help e-commerce store owners grow their stores remotely. If you wanna see more tutorials, case studies, and other videos just like this one, please consider subscribing so you can learn more about how to grow your e-commerce store. Okay, so how do we optimize the titles? Well, the easiest way is to just follow a formula that describes the product. The second way, which I prefer, is to use a formula of sorts, but then use the language that your customers use when they're searching for your product. I prefer the second way, it's much more effective, but it does require you to have an understanding of your target market and to also look in the search terms report to see what language they're using when they search for your products. If you're new to Google Shopping and optimizing your titles, that's okay, we're gonna go through that. I recommend setting it up the first way with this formula and then adding in the new language once you get that data in your search terms report. Okay, the first method involves using this formula. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a blog post that has all the formulas there, so you can choose the right one for your product and industry to get you the best results you need. In general, you want to have the brand of the product, what type or what it is, what the color is, and any sizing and material that describes your product. That's in general, but it does depend on your product and the industry. Like I said, check the link in the description. It depends on the product, but you'll have all the templates there that you can use for your store. For example, for apparel, you will have brand, product type, gender, keyword one, keyword two, color, and size. When I say keyword one and keyword two, these are the keywords that you've discovered through your product research, through understanding your target market, through doing keyword research with the Google Keyword Planner tool, or through looking at your search terms report after running your ads on search or shopping after some time. You really wanna understand your target market and use the language that they use when they search for your product. This brings me to method two, the hybrid approach. You shouldn't just create robotic titles for your product Products, but use the language of your customers in those titles. Even though you're creating these for the search engine so that Google understands your product, you're also creating these for humans and for people. For example, I helped scale up a wine cellar company's Google shopping campaigns and I found out that people just don't search for wine cellars. They're searching for wine racks. They want a product that they can use to store their wine, but they don't want a wine cellar. They want wine racks to put in their cellar. So most of these customers were searching with buy wine racks online. So we use that in their titles for massive results. He also has his actual titles on his store reflect this language as well. It's not just for shopping, but if people are searching for this product and they go to your store, show them that product. Use the same language in the title description to describe that product. Don't write it for a robot, write it for people, your target market. The reason this works really well for your shopping campaigns is that you're using the language of your customers. Google also measures the behavior of people with your shopping ads. The same with all ads, but with shopping ads in particular. They'll be watching the behavior. How do people click on these ads? And if you write them for humans with this language, you're gonna get a better click-through rate, which means that Google's gonna give it a better ad rank and gonna show your ads more often for a cheaper CPC. So like I said, check out the link in the description to that page that has all the templates there that you can check out and see which one works for your store. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Tell YouTube that we're making good content for you guys out there. And if you wanna see more tutorials just like this one, consider subscribing. I make a lot of e-commerce tutorials, marketing tutorials, how to build your website, email lists, all that sort of stuff. I do it on a regular basis to try and help you guys out there 
build your e-commerce stores. As always, if you have any questions at all about anything I've talked about today, any questions about title optimizations for shopping ads, please write a comment below. I answer every single comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer to your question. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.